Yeah, how are you, John? Doing well. What's going on? Doing all right. How, how excited are you? I mean, to get so many of your, your guys back and, and you know, core guys back on this football team. Well, no, I think that's important if you're, you're going to be good for a long time. Um, Coach Shapiro told me that that was their, you know, one of our goals this offseason was, you know, bringing the core back and, you know, going out and getting some, some savvy veteran guys and some young guys to kind of, you know, build a, a team. Can you talk about the linebackers in general, bringing you, James, Thomas Davis all back, and how you're going to work together again? Well, the good thing is we, we all have a great relationship. Um, we all know each other well. Uh, we know what each other is you know, thinking on any particular play. So um, anytime you have that type of chemistry, I think good things happen. Um, you know, even bringing in, you know, Gaither, I'm a big fan of his. I think he's a great football player. I watched him in Philly. Um, so he's going to help us out a lot. John, how strange has it been these first few days you got pretty much the starting linebacker core over on the sidelines? It's, uh, it's really weird. Um, you know, we can't move like we're practicing. So, you know, even if we're just having a conversation, he can't even look like he's coaching us. So, um, you know, we just got to, you know, deal with the process of it. Um, you know, we're doing a good job of getting mental, mental reps, coaches giving us tests, you know, in, uh, in meetings and stuff like that. So um, I feel pretty comfortable you know, up to date where we're at right now. Any sense that you all might be on the field before Thursday, or is it? That's a rumor. Um, you know, who knows? It might be because there's a set date. They might just, you know, leave it as as is. But uh, you know, hopefully, you know, guys want to get out there and practice. Are what you kind bored? Of you got for Coach Rivera so far. What, what's he going to be like as your head coach? Oh, you know, he has a few, you know, key things that he stands by. You know, he wants you to be a man. Wants you to be accountable. And you know, he wants your focus to be about winning the championship. You know, we're not trying to be good. We want to be great around here. So, um, you know, that's encouraging. Um, you know, he's not going to raise his voice, but when he does speak, it speaks volumes. How do guys respond after a two-win season when your head coach talks about a championship? With him? Well, you know, the, like I said, the core guys have been a part of the 12, you know, four season. Um, you know, we've been there before. We know how to do it. Um, you know, last year was a, definitely a, a letdown for us, uh, even though there were some other things that, that went into it. But, uh, you know, no excuses, and uh, we know that we need to be better than that. Hey, can you talk a little bit about uh, Ron Edwards and just say, I know you need um, some big guys up there to, to do some stuff for you. Tell, tell, tell me uh, about him. That's my Barney guard right there. I, uh, <laughs> first thing I told him, I said, uh, you like surfing turf? He's like, yeah. I said, that's going to work. I said, we're going to eat a lot of that this year. <laughs> <laughs> take care of me, I'll take care of you. But um, it just feels good to know that you're going to have a, a savvy vet in front of you, you know, a guy who's proven, a uh, big, strong guy. You talk to him, he's, he's real bright and smart. So, um, you know, I feel good about it. I told him, I said, look, you know, I'll do a good job of getting those guys off you quick, but I'm going to be hiding behind you a lot of times. Mm -hmm. so. You said uh, in, a, I think, a radio interview, you thought that the, if they had traded Steve Smith for a second or third round pick, that that would be a joke because Steve Smith is, is worth so much more now that he's back. Just talk about that. Well, you know, just in, <coughs> the way trades work in general, I mean, you, you trade a guy who's proven, you know what he's about for a draft pick. You don't even know who that player is going to be, what position it's going to be. So even if it was a first round pick, I still don't think, you know, Steve Smith is, is worth letting, letting him go for that. Uh, to have him back, I mean, it's, it's going to be a huge help uh, to offense. I mean, even, you know, in day two or three, you know, you notice him out there catching the ball is a difference. You know, we have to know where he is, where he's lining up, and, and when you are covering him, you got to bring your A game. Even though you're now on the field with those guys, how, is it, how exciting is it to bring in guys like Olsen and Shockey and then bring D'Angelo back and see the offense adding weapons? Well, you know, it's, it's crazy. Uh, you know, me and Olsen, we went to uh, Walmart the other day to get some stuff, gave him a ride. And we're driving. I said, man, I feel like we're in college again. We came in together. We're, you know, good friends. And uh, now we're playing football still, you know, t together on the same team. So, um, you know, having played against both those guys, I know what they can do. Um, you know, they, they pose big threats for offenses. And, uh, you know, now we have two of them. So hopefully we, we can, you know, sprinkle a little Barney in there and, uh, you know, we'll be good to go. Could you talk about bringing all the guys back from injury reserve and how that's going to help you guys? Yeah. Well, you know, that was one of our problems last year. You know, couldn't keep guys healthy. Um, as soon as someone gets hurt, you have to bring in, you know, some guy off the street, teach them the system, and then, you know, has to play that Sunday. So, um, you know, getting guys who are familiar with what we're doing or just in terms of being a Panther, uh, it's going to be a big help just getting those guys back. John, how would you describe this defense? Uh, you know, um, what do you like about it? The first word that comes to mind would be aggressive. Uh, we will not sit back and, and be dictated by anybody. We're going to dictate what we want to offenses. Um, we're going to be aggressive. We're going to be, you know, blitz happy, and uh, we're going to force a quarterback, you know, to be in some uncomfortable situations. And um, you know, that part of us is going to be fun. 
Um, Will you blitz a good bit more than last year? Absolutely. I mean, it'll be it'll be nine day difference. Did you put a percentage on? Um, I mean, just I know you can't. Let's say if, we, sure, if we blitzed thirty percent of the time uh, last year, we'll probably blitz 70 percent of the time this year. How good do you see this defense being this season? Um, sky's the limit. I think we have the skill set. Um, I think we have the leadership, and uh, I like the scheme a lot, based on you know what we have. So I think we can be just as good as anybody in the league. John, is that necessity you're talking about the blitz and, and being aggressive attacking? Given the quarterbacks in your division, particularly, I mean, you guys play some good ones. I mean, is that that you well, guys got to be aggressive? They're going to have to do their homework this year. You know, it's not going to be hey, um, you know, we know about the Panthers, we know about their scheme, and kind of go into it, you know, with that mentality. I mean, it's going to be a completely different. Uh, different defense and um, you know you get out there if you can get those guys off their spot and get some more turnovers to give the offense the ball more you know hopefully win some more games. John early impressions of Sean McDermott. McDermott. Um, you know he's I would say simple guy but he, he believes in, in, uh, in, the, in the scheme and um, I think that's important. Um, anytime there's a plan and, and guys you know try to execute it, I think that's a, a recipe for success. Um, and that's and that's how we're going to go about this thing. You know, we're going to we're going to install it. Everyone's going to know what to do, when to do it, and you know that should cut down the mistakes. Have you all been watching any Eagles tape with him? Or? Uh, you know what we haven't. Um, you know, we're at a huge disadvantage um, considering you know we're, it's complete different defense, new defense for everybody. So, you know, myself included, I'm like a rookie all over again. I have to open my playbook. You know, I'm getting treatment. I'm walking around. I'm looking through. Like you know, I have to review this stuff uh, instead of being comfortable. So. Um, you know, that part of it, uh, we haven't really got to, even though we're supposed to watch it at the end, we're still like asking so many questions that, you know, the time that's allotted, you know, for, for meetings ends up running out and we have to go to practice. John, uh, before you before you got your, your deal done, were you at all surprised by some of the numbers out there from this franchise and the way this franchise is kind of making the commitment to spend the money to keep people around? Well, you know, I've only been here four years and based on yeah. my four years experience, this is it's pretty new for me. Yeah. Um, you know, signing guys to, to big deals. But, um, you know, I can say one thing that Jerry Richardson, you know, pulled a lot of guys aside last year before this thing started and said that he was going to hold on to guys and he was going to take care of guys, and he did that. John, I imagine you're going back to the middle and that's where you, you want to stay? Yeah, I feel comfortable there. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I'll do whatever it takes, you know, to help the team win. But, uh, you know, going back home is definitely uh, a comfort level there. Hey, John, yeah. I mean, you talked earlier, Rivera talked earlier about, you know, severe 4-3 defense. Mm -hmm. uh, but there would be some 3-4 tendencies in there. Do you see some of that in the playbooks? Yeah, uh, you know, we're putting it in already. Um, it's just another wrinkle to give teams something to plan for, something they haven't seen from us. So, you know, they have to focus on that more. That, that's, that, that'll help us out. John, you mentioned it's kind of like going back to college here and got the heat that you felt in college, too. Uh, what are some of the things you like or dislike about coming to Spartanburg? Well, anytime you go to camp, the best part about camp is, is just, you know, the camaraderie, building a relationship. I think that's the most important thing to winning before you can do anything. Um, that part is fun, just being around the guys and just focusing on football. Um, it is a grind because you have to come out of your element and then, you know, pack and drive down. But it's good because... You know, it's just all about football right now. Thanks, John.